To bind my backend Pojo with a text field, I will start by defining a binder of type person, which is my Pojo in this demo, and then attach it to the text field. I also specify the exact member variable of person that will be bound to my text field, year of birth, for example. Java is complaining about this code because birth year is integer, while text field's value is string. That's why I need to add a converter to make sure that the value is converted from string to integer. Here, I'm using one of the built-in converters and I specify an error message if the conversion fails. Now Java does not complain anymore. One of the new things in Vaden 8 is the ability to add a validator before conversion. I will define a validator of type string. Let's call it before conversion to make sure that the entered value in the text field consists of exactly four characters. Validation result is also a new class with static helper methods to return results in case of error with the error message, or else we can return validation result dot okay. I can also define another validator, and here I will make it of type integer to be applied after the conversion. Let's call it after conversion, but this time I will use a shorter Lambda expression form to define the validator right away. Basically, the validation condition and the fallback error message. It is important to keep the order on how you want the validators to be applied. In my own case here, it will not work the other way around because the first validator is applied on a string and the second one is expecting an integer value. Now let's test this out. The first validation is checking the length of the string. The converter expects an integer value. And finally, the last validator checks for the year. But this is not everything. If this code sounds too verbose, we can actually shorten it a bit. We can place this lambda expression in line directly inside the ways validator method. And we can do the exact same thing with the first validator, giving it the error message. And that's pretty much it. Now the code sounds a bit more interesting, isn't it?